Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about gentle skincare and self-care. And today I am doing the video you asked for. This is a tour of my skincare. Now, back in December when I did my thank you for 50K video, I gave you three options to vote on. And the tour of my skincare stash, I guess, is the one that overwhelmingly won. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you how I store um, all my skincare and just kind of giving you a tour. Now, before we get started, <laughs> I have to let you know, skincare is my job. This is my career. I get sent a lot of products by different brands and shops all the time. And so the amount of skincare that I'm about to show you, I'm letting you know it's because it's my job. This is not the amount of skincare I would personally feel comfortable owning if this wasn't a huge part of my life. First, we're gonna start out here in my office. I'm gonna show you kind of like my back stock and how I organize things. And then we're gonna head over into my bathroom where a lot of the products that I use like on the daily and weekly are. So if you are so ready to take a look at all of this skincare, I think it's gonna be a really fun video. Uh, give it a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> So this is my office space and I really kind of call it like a studio space because it is so multi-purpose. So not only do I store like all my skincare stuff around here on these shelves and then I have this Ikea shelf thingy that will go through, but I also have like, um, okay, so like this is my like podcasting equipment here. I have like my tech stuff here. You can see lighting equipment in the background. Of course, <laughs> we have my plants. This is sort of a temporary space for my plants because this is like the only good light in the winter for them um, right now. So they're all kind of hanging out in the same spot. This is where I work, edit videos, everything. This is where my dog hangs out in her crate. She's here in the corner. Hey, Piper. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's start here with this um, shelf. It is not super cute, but you know, I really just work with what I have. Up here I have some storage of, really, these are like skincare devices. So they have the EcoFace LED mask, the Eclair um, LED mask. I have this MediCube. I actually have not used this yet. Okay, so here is where um, I put a lot of the skincare that I call like on deck. And this really is just skincare that I am like looking forward to trying out, but I've never used it before. But I'm very excited for this Amore Pacific Vintage Single Extract Ampule. This is the serum version of the very, very fancy essence that you know that I absolutely love. I have a Neod. This is, I think this is their Hyaluronic Acid. Um, the MMH2 serum. I haven't opened this one up, but I'm very excited about it. Um, I have, this is probably something I'll look at more in the spring uh, time when the weather gets warmer. The Onion New Pear Gel Cream from Isn't Tree. I have some Dr. Sam Bunting skincare that I have not tried yet, but I know this is really like a cult classic um, in the skincare community. So I am looking forward to trying that out at some point. What's my dog doing? What are you doing? How did you get that out? Oh my, Ugh. Piper. I, she literally has to be watched every second of the day. I was not watching her and this is what happens. The next shelf down, this is a little bit um, miscellaneous really, but I have like back stock of sheet masks. These little um, containers here, I have a ton of these and these are actually drawer organizers that I got from Ikea. They come in a pack. Um, they have a bunch of different sizes, but I use them all over my house, but they are fantastic for skincare storage. This basket here, this is just hair care product. Um, most of it's actually just from the inky list, just stuff I haven't tried yet. Here is um, actually just like stuff that I just didn't have room for anywhere else, but this is all stuff I've used before. And it's really just kind of like my backups. So the Lipicar wash, which you know I absolutely love. Um, when my bottle that is in my bathroom is empty, I will come and grab this one. I've got a couple of the thermal waters here. I've got Cicaplast. 
and um, it's not all the Roche Posay. Um, and then I have the Make Prime Toner, which I absolutely love, love, love. This shelf here and this shelf here, this is all stuff I'm giving away. Um, most of this is stuff that has ingredients that my skin doesn't like, so I've never opened them. It might be duplicates of things that I've received from different brands and shops. So this is stuff that I just give away and I just keep it all here contained. Now these baskets, this is really my system for um, when I'm working on videos. Um, so like when I'm doing like my top 10 or top five, I will put those products grouped together into a basket here. Okay, so moving down to here. So in these plastic baskets, I have all of my back stock skincare and I just kind of put them in by category. So let's start with toners and essences. I'll just try to pick out some highlights for you. Um, this is all essences and toners. Like I probably would never need to buy another essence or toner for many years, um, honestly. So I have some um, back stock, some extra stuff in here. Of course we have the uh, Misha Artemisia Essence, which I absolutely love. I also have, speaking of mugwort, um, this is the I'm From Mugwort Essence. I'm really excited that I have that. I kind of almost forgot that I did. Oh, this is the Scenic um, First Treatment Essence. This is really good. This is, I think a lot of people sleep on this one. Um, this is very comparable to Misha Time Revolution First Treatment Essence. And I actually think this is even better than the Secret Key First Essence, just my personal opinion. Um, it's really nice minimal ingredients list. It gives really good results. It will make your skin glow and be bright. So the Scenic is definitely a really nice budget choice for a first essence. I would really recommend that. That one if you especially if you want to like save some money um yeah here's the secret key one this one is nice i'm just saying like i've used both and i just kind of prefer the scenic better but this is also good oh this is the iliune uh ceramide ada water lotion this is a, a mist this is nice um this has a little uh, nice hydrating and moisturizing property to it just really nice mist all over your face um, I really enjoyed that one. It's not as super duper moisturizing as like Laneige Cream Skin Refiner, um, but I think it could be a good choice for combination skin. So let's move on to serums. A lot of stuff that's like unopened, um, I kept in their boxes and I put it in the back. So of course we've got back stock of polyphenols and propolis 15% ampule, of course. Of course, you know, I absolutely love that serum. It is really one of my like all time favorite ones. Benton Snail Bee Ultimate Serum. This is a long time, like old school favorite. I have a super old video review on that from like 2018, I think. The Isntree Green Tea Fresh Serum. We were all just waiting for Isntree to release a green tea serum. Um, so that actually, I really like that one. It's really good for oily skin because it's very, very light. Um, speaking of Isntree, I also have the Hyaluronic Acid Watery Essence, which is really like a serum. And this is really nice if you want some moisture, um, non-sticky moisture. So this is the opposite of the green tea serum, right? The R&W Adenosine Plus Serum. This is a nice well-aging um, product. This is good for kind of plumping your skin and firming it. Speaking of R&W, uh, back here, I have not one, but two uh, backups of the Ceramide Serum that I absolutely love. Let's take a look at um, moisturizers. This is also eye creams. This is also sleeping packs, and it's also emulsion. So it's just anything that kind of like moisturizes your skin is going to be um, in this basket. Thank you, Farmer Rice Pure Gel and Cream. Let me show this to you. This is like my favorite in the summertime. Look at how gorgeous this is. That is the cream inside of the gel right there. And it's just such a great two-in-one product, especially if you have combination skin, or even if you're just like oily, but you like a little bit of moisture now and then, you don't have to get two separate products. Like this does it really well. This is the Purito Dermide Barrier What's it called? The Purito Dermide Sika Barrier Sleeping Pack. I was just like, wait, what's the long name again? I really like that one, um, especially if you want like a little nice creamy, but not too heavy um, sleeping pack. 
that's a good one to go towards. Oh, this is the Isntree Hyaluronic Acid Moist Cream. I have not talked about this in a long time. I really like this cream. This is, people sleep on this one from Isntree, I feel like. This is actually really nice for like combination and dry skin. Um, it's not as light as it sounds. Do you see that really nice, creamy, beautifully emollient texture? But then it just kind of like breaks down into this like hydrating kind of a cream. Ah, oh, it just feels so good. There's an emolliency, there's a hydration, there's a refreshing element, there's a plumping feeling to it. It leaves your skin super soft. It's just the right amount of occlusivity. Like, this is a really nice cream. Um, I haven't talked about this in a while, and I don't see actually a lot of people talking about this or the Aqua Gel Cream version. This one's lighter, so this is good for oily skin. All right, so moving on to the sunscreen and cleanser box here. The Cosrx Centella Cleansing Powder. Um, they come in these little capsules. And I wouldn't recommend these for like just for washing your face because of the, you know, the waste issue. But for travel, if you're not doing it that often, these are actually really handy and um, TSA friendly too, because there's no liquid. Don't you know why I have so many Rovectin um, conditioning cleansers, but I absolutely love this too. Really nice and gentle uh, gel cleanser. The uh, First Aid Beauty Pure Face Cleanser. So I have another one of these in here. Um, I have emptied a bottle of this already. I haven't opened this new one up yet though. I have contraband sunscreens. <laughs> No. discontinued sunscreens the uh, keep cool um, bamboo sunscreen and the Huga relief sun moisturizer these are not SPF 50 these are part of that um, but actually now I should actually really be using these right now because winter time the UV during the day it, it's very low so I have no issues with SPF 30 that's perfect for this time of year oh here the La Roche Posay, the ultra light uh, sunscreen, the SPF 60. This stuff is so good, but it has alcohol in it. <laughs> so I can't put it on my face. <laughs> sensitive skin um but this sunscreen is so nice wow it like absorbs quickly it's super light wearing it's non-greasy it dries down like in a flash this is gorgeous but my skin my face skin my my neck my chest my arms all of that absolutely fine with alcohol but my face can't do it um but i absolutely love this so this is like an i love this for you type of sunscreen if you haven't tried this and you don't mind drying alcohol um this is a chemical sunscreen Try this, it's so nice. Okay, and this basket is like treatments, exfoliants, masks, and then I just have like accessories or like tools in here. This is, um, I actually bought this so many years ago. This is like a, it's called a skin analyzer. I bought this on Amazon under $20. And this like, let's see. No, the battery's totally dead. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's try it out. Um, so what you do is you just turn it on and then you hold it to your skin and it reads the amount of hydration and moisture in your skin. This was very helpful for me when I was going through um, my damaged moisture barrier. This was helping me kind of assess what was happening with my skin, um, especially like reading my levels, um, Really, this just helped me understand that my skin was getting dehydrated and really dried out while I was sleeping. So it just kind of helped give me the guidance. Um, but either than that, I don't find these very helpful. Like I don't think that these test how hydrating a product can be, but I think that these are helpful to gauge how much maybe hydration you lost through your skin as you slept at night, if that makes sense. So it's kind of more of a novel type of thing. It helped me at the time. It's really not something I use anymore. So here I have the Stradia Night Shift Retinal Cream. Love, love, love. If you're a retinal newbie, I would suggest trying that one. Up here, these are actually empties. Um, but not like current empties. This is like empty stuff that uh, I liked. And sometimes I like to reference in videos, but I don't necessarily, oh, here. Here I am, <laughs> I don't necessarily have backups for. Um, this is also something I'm thinking about not holding on to anymore and I'm planning on moving um, probably in the springtime. I don't wanna move with this stuff. And then this, 
This is just random stuff. <laughs> it's not skincare at all. So now I'm gonna take you into my bathroom where the majority of the stuff that I use on a daily or weekly basis is kept. So let's head on over there. Okay, so this is my bathroom. And it's actually pretty small. <laughs> it does what it needs to do, um, but it looks a lot bigger, I think, on YouTube than it does in real life. Let's start with the cleansers, which I keep here <laughs> in my medicine cabinet. And um, this is all my cleansers. So this is the only, believe it or not, the only oil cleanser that I have right now, the Hada Labo oil cleanser. And I just filled this up. Um, I really, really like this cleanser. It's affordable. It's fragrance free. It gets the job done and it comes with refills. Crave Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser OG um, packaging here. Um, I've had this for a while. I want to empty that. Polish Choices, you can see <laughs> upside down. It's almost empty. Um, so that's there. This is so good. This is the new Beauty of Joseon Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser. And I really like this. It's got a really interesting jelly texture that I enjoy. Uh, my favorite Bioderma cleanser here, the Sense of Bio. Uh, Stradia Velvet Cleansing Milk. This is really moisturizing and gentle. Another one um, that's moisturizing and gentle is the Cioris um, Cleanse Me Softly Milk Cleanser. And then the Rovectin uh, Micellar Water. This is a neti pot for my sinuses. <laughs> Um, and then I have the Beauty of Joseon Cleansing Balm. This is a makeup remover. Surprisingly, this is fragrance-free from Pixie. A little biface makeup remover. It's pretty good. I like this one. This is the Cioris. Oh, what's that on there? There's some gunk. The Cioris My Soft Green Scrub. This is like really, really gentle physical exfoliant. It's made out of like oatmeal powder. Um, but use this with this milk cleanser from Cioris. These two together are like moisturizing, soft, but they will help if you get dry flaky skin in the winter time, which I do. This helps gently take away the flakies. Um, I also have some pimple patches from Hero, the Mighty Patch. I also, this is my like broke tip <laughs> if you're like a broke student or something or you just like to save money these are made for blisters like you see here but these are actually just giant pimple patches it's the same material so you can use these and just like cut them like little squares cut them and then put them on your pimple these are cheaper and they last longer so if you go through pimple patches a lot just get these speaking of reusable cotton pads i keep mine in this container Believe it or not, this used to be a candle container. This is gonna be a theme that you're gonna find in my bathroom. This used to be a candle um, and I wanted to keep this container because I thought it was cute for the bathroom. So I put this with the candle residue in the freezer. Once everything is frozen, it's really easy to like pry out the, um, the wax and clean it out. So that used to be a candle. This used to be a candle. This used to be a candle. <laughs> you sensing a theme here um okay so moving on so this basket this is all the skincare i'm currently using um so when i wash my face i have all my cleansers over here right then i will um use my skincare here so of course good old cerave moisturizing creams got my back in the winter time um we've got the la roche posay thermal water I'm currently using the TM Vita B5 toner. I've also got Laneige Cream Skin Refiner in here. Liquid Gold is almost gone. Um, I have the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng Essence Water, which um, I'm gonna be using once the TM is empty. Um, this is from Mediheal. This is new, it's their Baobab Soothing Moisture Serum that I really enjoy. This is um, the Dark Spot Formula from Agency. This is a sister brand to Curology. And I just started to, um, I just switched over to this and I've been enjoying this. So this has been helping to brighten up my skin. And this is pretty much the same um, formula as Curology, but this is my Tretinoin. 
um, with azelaic acid, niacinamide, but they added tranexamic acid to it. So I'm really excited. I've been using this now for a while and um, this is just as good as Curology, but maybe even better. But they are, like I said, this is a sister brand. They're the same. They're from the same place. So um, you would expect it to be just as good. Um, I just have some creams that didn't fit in here. Um, the eczema cream from La Roche-Posay. I use this just kind of like in the areas that need extra TLC, which is usually um, around my nose. And I'm like my upper lip and chin area. Those areas just get like extra irritated, especially in the winter. The Ilyun cream, it's almost empty. Um, so I'm just kind of really making an effort to finish this up. And... Curel cream also really like this for winter time. So this is the Cioris you look so young night cream um, This has changed they the formula hasn't changed, but they now call it lost in a barrier I think cream or deep in a barrier cream. Um, so this is obviously a bottle I've had for a while um, And the thing about Cioris is you really do want to use stuff up like within about six to nine months of opening it because the preservative system is um, a little bit weaker um, they use natural preservatives so I'm actually using this as my hand cream so that's why it's right here it's like when I wash my hands I've got this really beautiful cream that I absolutely love and um, but I just I have to use it up right and I do have the new one um, in that backup basket and then this is some oil this is jojoba oil it, because it's winter time and it gets so dry especially on my cuticles what I'll do is I'll do a little bit of cream and then I'll do like two drops of oil in the palm of my hand and then just like mix it all up and it absorbs and it just kind of helps keep my cuticles in shape over here um this is a shelf that like just perfectly fit in this weird space between my counter and my bathtub and this shelf i have had since i was a child i'm not kidding you this was in my childhood home okay so up top here in this basket this is all hair care stuff um this is another candle uh container <laughs> i put put all of my makeup brushes in here. And then um, this is just the hair care stuff that I use the most often. So this is the Subaki, um, the Oshima Subaki oil. This is the Inky List Shea oil. Um, this is a little bit of a lighter option. So this is something I don't use a lot in the winter time. It's something I might use when my hair doesn't need as much moisture and nourishment, but it needs like smoothing um, and like detangling and stuff. This is perfect for that. This, I have not used this yet. This, I put this here because I want to start using it. This is a leave-in conditioner, basically. Um, I've heard a lot of hype about this. I just started swimming for a fitness um, in a chlorinated pool. I'm afraid of what it's going to do to my hair, so I thought this might be a good time to try out a product like this, but I haven't used it yet. I was going to use it last night, and then I, I just actually forgot. <laughs> Too dire. So top shelf here, this is mostly um, mostly body products. This is like what I go towards when I'm getting out of the bath or shower. So this is my favorite body cream, the La Roche-Posay Lipicar AP+. Plus. This is the Up and Up Moisturizing Cream. This is the Target Generic of CeraVe. And I like it, but it's not a super duper good replacement for CeraVe. It's just a little less occlusive in my opinion. Um, but this is nice on the face. It's nice on the body and I mean like I've used a good amount of it so like I obviously can't complain and I will empty this up. I don't like this. This is not occlusive or um, emollient enough for my skin. I don't even really like it for my hands um, but it's here. It's back here and I'm probably going to give this away. So I have my deodorant. Um, I have the Sol de Janeiro um, Brazilian Crush um, body spray. Um, cause I like to smell good every now and then. The facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. And then I also have the Real Carotene Blemish Clear Vita Pads from April Skin. These are both uh, exfoliating um, like toner pads. I use this on my body mostly, sometimes on my, on my face. This is another candle. <laughs> These are all sunscreens um, that I like gravitate towards and grab a lot. Um, let's see what's in here. Of course, we've got the Beauty of Chasson. I have the Can Make Mermaid um, gel in here. The Neutrogena Clear Face. I like that a lot in the summertime. I have the Purito. 
daily go-to sunscreen. The kids sunscreen from um, Black Girl Sunscreen. I do like this. It's a little greasy, but I do like this for summertime. The La Roche-Posay Melt in Milk Sunscreen SPF 100. Do you need SPF 100? No. Is it elegant? No. <laughs> Is it expensive? Yes. Um, but I do, I don't mind this on my body, but I do much more prefer the Melt in Milk um, SPF 60 for my body. It's just more elegant. It's less heavy, less greasy, and it does the job. This is an old school favorite, but it's just sometimes it's super hard to find. This is the Nivea Super Water Gel, um, and this is a really nice body sunscreen, like a Japanese body sunscreen. All of these are chemical sunscreens, by the way, um, but finding the refill for this started to get tricky and so I kind of gravitated away from using this. I have a little bit left and I should really use it up because it's been open for a while. Okay let's move to the next shelf and this is all um, mostly masks um, and then there's some just like some extra products some like treatments on this shelf. So this is the Isntree BHA 2% liquid. I just use this a couple times a week um, on my nose for blackheads and congestion um, so I just kind of keep that handy back here and then I have back here, better not drop this very expensive product. This is the SK2 um, facial, what is this called? Facial treatment essence. And um, as I've said to you many, many times, like, I just don't want to empty this. It's so special and I just take my time with it and I just enjoy it. But um, it is kind of being hoarded uh, back there. And uh, you know what? Honestly, sometimes when you shove something back there like that, you think you're going to remember it, but you don't. Um, so that's just, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. But it just kind of breaks my heart to use it a little bit because it's so expensive. You know what I mean? So um, I need to get over myself with that though. <laughs> and then I have a couple of like different, I guess, patch products here. The uh, Cosrx uh, Snail Eye Patches. I really like these. I've been using these a lot lately. Um, when I put those on like underneath my eyes, I will often put on the Cosrx Sika pads like on my cheeks and my forehead and chin to keep everything hydrated. These are almost gone. These are really good too. And these are the KTW Milky Toner Pads. These are like more uh, moisturizing than the Cosrx Sika Pads, which are very hydrating. So when my skin is feeling dry, I will use these. Back here, we've got masks. So I have the Isntree Clay Mask, and then I also have the Bioderma Sense of Bio Mask. So this is another one of those drawer organizers from Ikea, and they honestly just like fit the sheet mask so good. So I have a box of the Goodbye Redness Centella Mask Pack from Benton. Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Sheet Masks in here, which I really like. Also a nice one if you have inflammation or pimples. The Rich Moist Soothing uh, Tencel Sheet Mask. I have a few of those in here as well. This is really good when you want to strengthen your skin's moisture barrier. I've got some other uh, goodies from Benton. Really one of my go-to brands when it comes to sheet masks. I really like Benton products. And then I just have some more pimple patches here and then some more wash off masks. I'm from Mugwort. Yep, of course, you know, I use this all the time. The I'm from Honey Mask, also use this all the time. The I'm from Fig Scrub Mask. I don't use this as often, but I will occasionally use this. And I, I think this is a nice gentle scrub option. A little bit of fragrance in here, just FYI, but it's a very light scent. And then this last one, this is another drawer organizer. Do you see how great it is for skincare though? These are all my empties. So whenever I empty something, I just put it in here, super duper handy. And then I'm all like ready to go when I make my empties videos or um, the shorts that I do. So I've actually emptied a lot of skincare since the last empties video in December. I have a lot to share with you. So that was a lot of skincare, but it was fun. I hope you really did enjoy that tour of all my skincare. If you made it this far in the video and you haven't hit subscribe yet, if you're uh, not a part of this community, please do consider hitting subscribe, especially if you love skincare, especially if you love K-beauty, and especially if you love self-care, because those are the things I really focus on here on my channel. And I do release a lot of new videos throughout the week, so do consider turning on notifications. All right, I'm going to get out of this corner on the floor. I uh, hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I can't wait to talk to you in the next video. I'll see you soon.